For this video, I have my delay set to a fairly long delay, a half a second, but with a lot of repeats. Now that gives you a very rhythmic background to work against. So if I play I'm getting all of those notes happening for a while. You have to be careful not to let the density build up too big if you play a lot of different things. It can turn into something interesting rhythmically or it can turn into mush. So use your ears and listen to what's happening. And anytime it's getting a little too busy, leave some space, let what's happening on the reverb play itself out. I'm sorry, on the delay play itself out and then continue from there. But let's look at a couple uh, possibilities here. Now you can probably see there in a few spots I got kind of a little rhythm going and then uh, stopped playing that rhythm on the drumstick, let the delay pick up the rhythm and carry it while I played some melody against it. You had a little... Now you've got a little opening to play some melody where you still have the rhythm happening. experimenting with this you can find that you can really control the density of how much is happening if you want things to be big and loud and boisterous you play a lot <laughs> See that the delay tails get a little chaotic but you may want that sometimes and you can always back off that delay will play itself out after a few repeats and you get a more open and spacious sound so let's mix all those together and uh, play us on out